All right, let's get started. What's up, everyone? Episode 31. 31. Been a few weeks. Was away in Japan. Visiting my brother and his wife. Had a great time. Tried a lot of different beers over there. Uh, fun fact, they like the lagers. They like the kind of light, malty beers with very little hops. And I think it's partially due to the fact of... I think hops are expensive over there. So there's maybe they're not as readily available. So, you know, the most of the beers that you're going to get... I mean, there was, there was actually a little bit of a craft beer market that was like local beers and stuff. And some of them actually did have a little more hops than others. But to have, get a beer that was like hop, like kind of on the higher on the IBU range, it was kind of a little harder to find. So uh, it was definitely kind of more of the lager, light beer type. But uh, beers there were great and fun to drink and cheaper than you than if you were to uh, buy them here, which is nice as well. So it was nice to drink them for a lot cheaper. Um, today, thank you. We are going to drink New South's Summer Ale. This is a very interesting beer, my friend Rich. Thank you, Rich, for hooking me up again with another awesome beer. He's thinking of me, thinking of this show. And, you know, I'm always grateful for his support in this way where you just, you know, whenever he's away and checking out new places, he brings back a beer. And uh, I'm really excited to try this. It's, just, it's kind of cool because it just kind of looks like there's like a sticker on here. And, like, I don't know, you can almost like you could peel it off. Like, I'm almost curious that when I'm done drinking this, like, peeling this off because I want to see what's underneath here. Maybe it was, like, the old label or something. But what's kind of cool is that it just says, like, summer. So they just like wrote it in summer with a permanent marker, so I think that's 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 a that's a first for me. I've never seen that before, but it has a cool little logo, New South on there, pretty neat. Excited to try that. Another thing I wanted to talk about is I've been noticing my Pilsner. My uh, Pilsner has been a little overcarbonated lately. I gotta figure that out in the next few days and figure out what's wrong with it. Cause I I mean I tried releasing a little bit of air yesterday, did not help, and um. I might need to lower the PSI. Oh my god, excuse me. Oh my god. Oh, I am still jet lagged. I don't know what it is. I've been like tired randomly and stuff and like yeah, sorry, that was a jet lag moment. Um yeah, so I might need to like lower the PSI a little bit, see if I can get uh reduce the carbonation. Cause uh yeah, it's been a little annoying to pour this thing lately. I've been like, Great, I want some pills Oh, I'm just like Oh, I see. So, yeah, I've been pouring my, my Pilsner and being like, wow, it's just basically foam, and it takes like five minutes to pour the thing. That sucks. That shouldn't happen. I'm just reading your comments there. And beercation, yes, it was a little bit of a beercation. The can was made for nut brown. Ah, I see. So they're just basically economical. They're being economical. So instead of reusing, getting a whole new beer for the summer, they're just like putting a sticker on the nut brown. Nut brown ale. What's up, glutes? Glad you can join as well. Appreciate it. Also got some snacks, some Japanese snacks to try. Been leaving them. Also other snacks at the gym where I'm a coach at uh, to, you know, share in a lot of the snacks I brought back. This was called Kratz. And it's got a cool picture of a beer on there. So I guess it's you're supposed to drink it with beer. And uh, we're going to try this. It looks like it's got a meat flavor of some sort. And, uh, whoa, look at the macros, which I can kind of figure out even if it's in, like, Cut a cut. Okay, sorry. Ooh, jet lag. Oh my God, I've been jet lagged. God. So we got it's got four and a half grams of protein, eleven and a half fat, twenty-four grams of carbs. Good balanced diet for a good balanced meal. So yes, we're gonna have this for snack, and then after all is this, we've got this all organized, and we start pouring this beer so we can get going. We are going to ah bacon flavor. Bacon flavor. Yes, look. Ah, God. Um, then we're going to play some Bonk's Adventure. Now, this is a game I am confident I will play all the way through. I've been spending the past hour or two fiddling with my technologies and getting it on the big screen because last time I played Ninja Spirit, I, had a, I couldn't figure it out, and so I got it to only play on my other screens, which was slightly frustrating. But I think now... We're going to be able to get this 
on the big screen. All right, let's see. We got we got a nice cloudy ale. Like it. Let's give this a sniff. Uh, we didn't. I did not play this once, Crusher. I did not play uh, this game. Uh, where's my mouse? Ah, come on. Ooh, it's got a kind of a uh, orange peel smell. A little bit of maze going on. Might have to bring it on. Use the other mouse over here. We are we are unconnected. Um. Ooh, there's something interesting going on here. Like a hay kind of thing, straw. That is a weird smell. It smells like. I don't want to say it. <laughs> it smells like, kind of like. I don't, this is terrible. It shouldn't probably. I'm sure this beer tastes amazing, and it's gonna taste, and I'm gonna enjoy it thoroughly. But for some reason, on the nose, I'm smelling urine. I don't know why. Urine. I'm like literally like. Urine. <laughs> like. <laughs> No, but it does. It probably doesn't taste like urine. It could be the glass too. This glass could be just just fucking everything up. But interesting. It's very light on the hops. So not, not a lot of you know. Not very like floral. I would say much more like musky smelling. Again, kind of in tune with the urine. Okay, let's give this a try. Let's give this a whirl. I'm curious. Almost like um almost like a hef ooh. Very summery, very refreshing. <laughs> yeah, the nose the taste is very different from the nose. So I knew that I was gonna enjoy this. But that's hilarious. I know you didn't pee in the can. Haha. <laughs> You better not. <laughs> um, got an interesting filament taste in my tongue at the end. <laughs> yeah, almost kind of tastes like a heft to me. Kind of like a like a almost kind of like the Pine Island uh, malt, the two row malt, has a kind of heaviness, kind of the algae kind of taste, but much more subtle. That other malt is very like in your face, and you're like, "Oh, Jesus!" Got knocked out with that like heavy kind of malty algae taste. This is a little much more palatable. But it's very subtle taste too. Very simple. Kind of always got like a very simple one taste. Boom, the kind of refreshing summer, heavy malty. Doesn't have that maize taste to it, which is interesting, but had a little bit of that smell. Let's get more on that tongue, all over that tongue. Yeah, the hops are not like as prevalent for me. I'm not getting a lot. I'm getting like a, this initial kick of bitterness, and that's it. Um, and the bitterness is kind of just, I would say, like, yeah, like the pine allen algae kind of bitterness taste of the malt. Yeah. But, so, but not too much like a floral action. Very just simple. This boom right there, and that's what it is. Let's give this snacks a try. That's a good beer. Thank you, Rich. I will enjoy this as we crush this game. Who wants to try these snacks? You got to taste test these snacks, too. Oh, wait. Aha, open. It tells you how to open this. Let's see. All right. Snacks, bacon flavor. Oh, my God. You know, there's something I hear uh, that you can get here that's like this. Well, you get it like the gas stations. Ooh. 
It's like a smoky bacon flavor. Mmm. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Kind of like, uh, I don't know, um, those pretzel things with like the filling inside. Almost like that. Why am I blanking on that? Like, not, not like pizza rolls. What the hell am I talking about? Someone help me out. It's like croutons, but bacon flavor. Mmm. Combos. Thank you, glutes. Thank you. Yes, combos. I think combos, like, but without, like, the filling. Mmm. 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 Mixing the air. Bacon-flavored summer beer. Love it. All right. Awesome. We will play this game now, Bonk's Adventure. I remember as a kid growing up, this was, like, my Friday night game that I would play as a kid. And if I, like, beat Bonk's Adventure, it's like, you know, I was a good night. I was very productive. I beat Bonk's Adventure, you know? Because it would take a few hours as a kid, you know? And you, like, you play from, like, 7 to, like, bedtime, you know? Um, it was like, you know, I have a lot of memories of playing this. Like, I, I remember distinctly, like, beating it several times as a kid. Especially probably there's a lot of times where I couldn't beat it. And then I finally beat it. So I felt, like, accomplished as a kid. Yes. Is the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Ooh, the almonds is mixed in. The almonds are mixed in here? Crusher? I don't see. Oh, yes, there are. Wow, look at that. That is nuts. Let's get an almond. A pizza, a bacon-flavored almond. Let's try this. Ah, damn it. I've got it. There it is. Mmm. Yes, very good. Yeah. Awesome. Clementine. Is over there on the floor. She'll be joining us soon. It's a little hot in here, I would say. Probably, but that's why she wants a little cooler floor. But, yes. Let's start getting this game on. Woo! Let me reset the screens. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I got to mention this really quick. Check this out. Oh, wait. You can't see it. Can you see it? Yes. My brother was so kind to give me controllers. Good controllers to play. Yes. Oh, my God. I actually tried the other one first that he gave me because he gave me two. And uh, that one was actually malfunctioning, so I, but I got this one to work. And I configured everything. We're going to have a good controller to play with today. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. All right, hold on. Let's readjust this. Turbo. I had the turbo all set up and everything. Now there's no turbo. So in this game, you're just basically a, like a baldy. Hey, look at me. I'm baldy too. <coughs> I'm like basically like bonk. You know, I'm just a bonk trying to save the girl and just, you know, fight dinosaurs and lizards. Yeah. Oh. So much harder. Damn it. It was a little hard. You made a monkey out of me, Bunk. Now you finally made a monkey. Have I seen Princess Za? What kind of dumb name is that? Yo. Oh shit, he's pissed now. Oh shit. Damn. Fuck, I better not lose this. Shit. Moving. Fuck. Damn it, it's that damn crown that keeps hitting me. Fuck. 
man. Jesus! Oh my god! I cannot lose this! Yes! Yeah. That's awesome. Love is in the air. I love this music. I get to go back to Moonland. Thank you so much. You set me free. It's kind of like a. I don't know. Is. Well, thank you for letting me play this to the, to the end. Pusha!